And Missourians said no to raising the state's gasoline tax by 10 cents a gallon over four years. And since there was no organized opposition, the defeat of Prop D was a surprise. KBC 9's Michael Mahoney says there may be an odd twist to the story. Could Josh Hawley's strong victory in the Missouri Senate race be one of the reasons the proposed gas tax increase failed? That could be. I mean, Kansas City's Republican state rep Kevin Corlew, who lost his own re-election bid Tuesday, led the group that put together a comprehensive look at the poor state of Missouri's roads. It was the foundation for that call to phase in a 10 cent a gallon increase in the gas tax. Hawley's successful campaign brought out many Missouri conservatives to vote. I mean, there are people out there that, that will say no to any taxes. Unfortunately, that's not a very conservative principle. A conservative principle is that you take care of your house. Or in this case, the roads. But almost everybody thinks the price of gas is always too high, so it was going to be tough anyway. The gas tax is the first serious setback for Governor Mike Parson. Almost from the day he took office, he traveled the state pushing the tax. And so far, no comment from Parson on its defeat. One that is raising the possibility now of an unpleasant argument in the legislature. Which means you're going to have a fight with education, with uh, welfare, with all of the different needs, the very good needs that are out there. The issue of Missouri's roads is not going away. It could be a big topic for the next session of the legislature in January. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. Voters in Kansas City, Missouri, in Clay County, and in Platte County voted for the gas tax hike, but it lost in Jackson County. Statewide, it lost by eight points.